By 2050, the world's population is projected to exceed 9 billion people, and our global energy demand is set to increase by approximately 50%. When confronted with this immense growth, it becomes easy to see that the survival of our planet and continued progress of its people will require an energy solution that is both highly abundant and carbon-free. While wind, solar, and other renewables will play a valuable role in decreasing our dependence on carbon-emitting fuels, our accelerating demand for clean energy and energy security will ultimately require a source of energy that doesn't fluctuate with weather, seasons, or time of day, and can ramp up rapidly up and down to compensate for power sources that do not. Nuclear power has long represented the most viable solution to large-scale decarbonization, but from the time of its first commercial application 70 years ago, it has faced stigmas and regulatory hurdles that have inflated its cost and stalled its innovation, all despite providing around-the-clock clean energy to millions of Americans every day. Advancements in technology combined with a scale of decarbonization challenge have inspired a new wave of technologists driven to overcome the headwinds that have challenged nuclear power for decades. These innovators are developing a fourth generation of advanced nuclear reactors that are dramatically smaller than their currently operational predecessors. Developers expect that these reactors will be safer with less maintenance, last longer, and cost less to deploy. Incredibly, a pellet of uranium-containing fuel from a second or third generation reactor the size of an almond can contain as much energy as 2,000 pounds of coal, or nearly 150 gallons of crude oil. As a result, nuclear energy currently prevents an equivalent of more than 500 million tons of CO2 from being released into the atmosphere every year. As we speak, more than half of the carbon-free energy being put to use in the United States is produced at nearly 100 nuclear reactors across the country. But most of these facilities were built in the 1970s or 80s as part of nuclear's second generation, using technology developed in the 1950s, and their reactors are becoming older. Given their immense size and complexity, large-scale traditional nuclear reactors have been subject to huge cost overruns and construction delays. They also tended to be customized designs unique to each site, with no two reactors really being the same. Simply put, the constant changes on such large and complex systems introduced huge uncertainty and further failed to provide a streamlined process from one facility to the next. In the face of these challenges, it's undeniable that for nuclear's potential to ever be realized, we need a whole new breed of reactor, one that is smaller, safer, and much more versatile than ever before. Within this new wave of nuclear innovation are reactors that range in size down to the single megawatt scale. Referred to as micro-reactors, they are aimed at powering remote communities, hospital backup systems, or even spacecraft. Scalable and more suitable for long-term, grid connectivity or large industrial applications due to their ability to ramp up modularly Advanced Small Modular Reactors, or SMRs, can produce power that can range as low as tens of megawatts or increase to hundreds or even thousands of megawatts. This is enough electricity to support a small town or be scaled up to meet a range of power demands from small towns to large cities. In addition to being scalable, most advanced SMRs will be made from standardized components. They will be pre-assembled at manufacturing facilities and shipped to their operating site for installation. These features will greatly reduce the capital needed to bring a new plant online and will make nuclear power more accessible to a far broader range of consumers. Above all else, advanced SMRs are expected to set new precedents for safety. This is mainly because unlike traditional reactors, they don't require an operator at the controls or power from the grid to remain safe. Many advanced reactors are able to rely on the laws of physics in the event of a loss of cooling to quickly reduce the fission reaction and then slowly disperse the remaining energy safely while trapping radioactive byproducts. This innate stability is the key to expected increases in safety while decreasing costs and eliminating certain features of conventional nuclear, like the enormous containment facilities we've come to know. The arrival of these advanced reactors heralds a new age for nuclear energy, 
We expect that their small size and inherent safety will bring nuclear power to new places and new applications, from small towns and far-flung outposts to urban centers or the surface of the moon. The long-awaited promise of safe, clean, and affordable energy is finally at our fingertips.